I'm going to say it was good. This half is Sagittarius. Sagittarius, you rule my world. <laughs> All right. Okay, so something has happened that makes you like bitter, feel bitter. Or feel like I don't know like some sort of negative emotion towards your experience with something it gave you a lot of ex it gave you a lot of the experience gave you a lot of knowledge which you were able to turn into wisdom right through your persistence but the thing is is you know how a situation sometimes can leave a bad taste in your mouth and experience can sometimes leave a, a bad taste in your mouth, they say, right? This is the vibe I'm getting, right? Tell me more than Holy Spirit. I feel like the more that you just accept that this is the truth that you needed so that you can no longer be defeated by pain of the lie, there was some sort of lie that was told. And I feel like the acceptance of this truth, well, tell me more about the truth too with, with the uh, Queen of Swords here, Holy Spirit. I want to clarify the truth and what it was. It was so painful about it. We're going to dive into that. But this is what I'm getting overall. So let's go ahead and clarify. Tell me more about Queen of Swords. I feel like, yeah, like I said, it's like you have to accept the truth about something so that you're no longer in pain. Because I feel like the lies is always going to be more painful than the truth. Even if the truth is unpleasant, temperance. Knight of Pentacles to the Six of Pentacles. I feel like some of you guys, this truth might lead you guys to um, receiving more, having more. I feel like you need to be patient right, right now with yourself. I feel like you're not being patient right now with yourself in your process and what you're experiencing. See, when you start uncovering a lie, here comes another lie. Here comes another lie. Here, it's like if you're overwhelmed with how much shit that's been piled onto a situation in order for you to uncover the truth. You're like, damn, I, I can't believe that something laid it on so thick or had me believe, so gassed. You know what I'm saying? To believe in it. To think in a certain way or whatever. And it's like the deception is like, you don't know who would be more mad at. The deception of yourself or something like that. I'm getting it like, for real, this shit is crazy. Tell me about the three of swords. This is the pain. This is the lie. This, I feel like this is the lie. The queen of swords, the three of swords, excuse me, is the lie. Tell me about the three of swords, the chariot. Yeah, something had you stuck. The chariot in reverse. You couldn't move forward until you had found out that truth. And then but the and finding out the truth, you were able to um, um to reveal your spirit to yourself. Ah, that's what it was. So it could have this could have been like a lie that you found out to do with things that you believe in. This could have been a lie to do with things that you were taught to believe in. Tell me more about the three of swords, please. You, yeah, the strength card, Knight of Swords, King Six of Cups. You've known this your whole life. You believe this your whole life. So how 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 dare these people lie to me? <laughs> oh shit! It's like yo, how dare somebody tell me that? And then it's like now you're looking at it like from a mature adult perspective. You like damn. I, I fucking let somebody program me, teach me some shit that's been false or some false narrative. And it's like, yo, what the fuck? Boom. You're able to shift out and change your life right in that moment because of the acknowledgement of the deception. So it's like you nip that in the bud. Now you can move forward where you, where you want to truly be, which is just in truth. Truth has its own direction. When you live in a lie or under something false or something pseudo, that has its own direction as well. Tell me about the Ace of Swords. What about this truth here? We got the hangman, Will of Fortune, 
the motherfucking reverse. So I feel like the more that, yeah, the more that you ran away from the truth, the more that you like blocked, you know, the more that you blocked the truth, the more that you, you became limited or restricted, the more that it put you into the side of a box where you couldn't move. And it also stopped up your karma from just flowing the way it should. So it's like started making things, even worse things around you happen in order for you to look at this very thing, this lie, this paradigm, this lie that you've been taught. And I feel like the hangman is telling you to see things from the truthful perspective. Just period. Like you've been looking at it the wrong way the whole time. And it's like, maybe you could have watched a movie. Maybe you could have did something. I don't know. Something happened and it just clicked to you. And it's like, yo. And ever since then, like you've been on this, this search for knowledge and this quest for the truth. And because of that, it frees you. Just period, my G's. You know what I'm saying? Spirit is saying, be persistent, nine of wands. Keep going, okay? King Knight of Pentacles is saying, be patient, though. Because as you're exploring, as you're discovering things, you know, um, about the truth, right? You're going to have to be patient with yourself because the thing is, is because you're going to have to reprogram the mind. And the mind is like that. That's like the hardest motherfucking, like, part of you, your mind. So once something... When something you talk about something controlling something, it goes straight to the mind. And basically, the thing you have to overcome is your mind. Because your mind only believes the experiences that we've had in the past to go off. You know what I'm saying? The mind doesn't have intuition because the mind doesn't have that. Right? That's more so for, flows from the heart. Right? The third eye chakra, the crown chakra, right? Intuition, things of this nature, right? So be patient with yourself, Okay. And your practical application, practical meaning your everyday application, your regular practice, right? All right. Um, the fool. I see a very new beginning now that you know the truth, now that you can see clearly. Ten of Wands is emphasizing you being able to release burdens, release stress concerning the situation. So no matter how distraught or how distressed you get in revealing the truth, it will set you free. Okay? In the end, once you can accept what it is, you know what I'm saying? You free yourself of the burden of holding on to the lie. Because it's the only, the only freedom is in truth, all right? And I feel like, you know, you might end up fighting with a lot of your peers. I'm going to talk more about that grab a message right now. But I feel like you could be fighting with your peers because you got it in the outcome. You're an earth angel. And they're going to see really quickly those that you work in some sort of conflict with I'm not going to say fighting but in some sort of conflict with right could it just be verbal whatever of course it's not physical because if 